Silos are a familiar fixture all across farm country. Many of them are empty because of closed down livestock operations. Some are used for grain and a select few have other duties. These twin silos have a deck on top, a steel entry door at the bottom, and a doorbell housed in a toilet. Might this be the work of pranksters? Certainly not. It's the work of Domi and Marla Hassett who call these silos home sweet home. Let's take a tour. I suppose we could call these Hassett Towers. They're five-story silo homes, 60 feet tall. Quite a view from on top, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Each one has 1,500 square feet of living space, about 300 square feet on a floor. You walk into a spacious first floor laundry room. There's a bathroom and a shower, because Marla says Domi has to shower before coming upstairs. The circular stairway takes us up to the kitchen. It's bright and airy, with a nice window to the outside. It's circular, you might say, but that's not what Domi calls it. it. It's not actually a circle anymore. If you notice, it's a 16 -agon. The third floor is a family room with a nice couch and a TV. In fact, you'll find a lot of TVs here. We, do, we started out, I was thinking of putting three and leaving two floors without them. But then you get in the middle of a program and you go someplace else and you can't follow it, so they're on all floors. Climb another set of stairs and you reach the fourth floor, actually the master bedroom. In case you're lost, the floors are all numbered. Now we're 40 feet in the air and the view keeps getting better. Open a window and take a look in for yourself. The, these holes were already here for the way they filled the silos and the way you drained the silos. We adapted and made their, they are double pane, but we adapted and made the windows for this particular one. One more flight of stairs and now we're at the top, in the living room. The centerpiece here is Domi's custom-built chandelier. He tells us more. They're all on rheostat so that we can get weird shadows and things. So it's kind of, this room I like. This Every home needs a deck, and these silo homes are no exception. Walk out on this one for the best view of all. Unless, of course, you're afraid of heights. This deck happens to be 60 feet in the air. It took Hassett a couple years to finish the first silo home, and now he's starting on the twin next door. Soon he'll build a glass walkway connecting the second floor kitchen to a second floor in the neighboring silo. That one's going to be the formal dining room. When it's all done, Domi and Marla will have a 10-room house, more than 3,000 square feet. We're darn sure it's one of a kind, a place they can really be proud of. The first approach was not to do something just to be different, but to make a practical uh, home. And uh, we enjoy it. We consider it just a house. It has about the same amount of square footage as a regular. There's like 1,350 square feet. Uh, it's got five rooms. It's, it, uh, it's pretty much like any other house, with the exception that it's stacked up instead of horizontal. Kind of plan on doing one room a year, so it uh, will never run out of something to do. <laughs>